Six-year-old Keegan, four-year-old Tilly, Ollie, who was three, Riley, who was eight, and only Jack, the youngest, was saved by his parents jumping from an upstairs window. Firefighters who battled their way into the rooms upstairs at Sycamore Lane could not save the others. Our firefighters were faced with very difficult conditions inside the property due to the severity of the fire. I can sadly confirm that the bodies of four young children were located within the property by Fire and Rescue Service personnel. This morning, just a few hours after the fire, this group came to lay flowers near the scene. The bouquet they laid bore a tribute from the children's aunt and grandmother, overcome by emotion. But these are feelings shared by so many on the Highfields estate in Stafford, a place where many young families live in streets clustered around a single primary school. She always came on the bus with the kids and they were always so well behaved. Uh, it's just really, really sad. Just crying all morning, it's awful. I just think. No, it's just really, really sad. It's just the sadness of the family mm. losing the children. You know, know it's so just devastating. Teachers at Riley's school say he was confident with a great sense of humour and came in every day full of enthusiasm. Tilly was a friendly and caring child who loved to read stories. Ollie, they say, was happy and loving and loved cuddles. Keegan was lively and full of mischief. As the flames spread last night, neighbours could hear their devoted mother, Natalie, begging for help, shouting, My babies. Two adults and a child were already out of the property when the crew arrived. They each received treatment by the ambulance staff for non life threatening injuries. An investigation is now underway at the remains of this home to establish how this fire began and how it tore a family apart. The investigation will go on for some time, but this has been a very difficult day for the people of the Highfields estate and for one particular reason. Many young families live here and the ages of those children, three, four, six and eight, mean that any family with a child at preschool, at nursery or at the primary school will know those children, will have interacted with their parents and they're now thinking of that young mother in her hospital bed for whom her children were her world, thinking about her loss, recovering from her injuries and trying to grapple with a grief that few of us can even imagine.